This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your livestock roundup. We saw a higher open but a quick turn of events on the inability to really sustain momentum. We saw the August live cattle contract as well as the October and December kind of test levels we have not seen for several months. The inability to accelerate higher led to some long liquidation and invited sellers back into the market for the August contract. We're in a little bit of an up channel, which means we're making higher lows and higher highs. But we tested the top of that uh, channel, 110.17 and a half to 110.50. Couldn't get any mojo and very quickly sold off and tested the bottom end within the, uh, just an hour or so. That comes in at about 106.50. So we've traded on, on uh, both sides of that channel. Ultimately, I wouldn't be surprised to see this momentum, this weakness carry over into Friday session. Going to be something to keep a very close eye on, though, as this August this contract is running out of time and we're still waiting on cash to develop this week. As far as the December contract goes, very interesting. We've tested the 200 day moving average six consecutive days. This was offering his support over the past week and we just broke down that it gave way. As we often say, the price is like a wrecking ball and technical is like a skyscraper. The more times you test it, the weaker it becomes. The sixth test of that 200 day moving average broke down and accelerated the selling pressure. Now, as far as the feeder cattle are concerned, same type of thing. We failed to get out above technical resistance earlier in the week. We defined that as 156, and now we're breaking down. I think there's a lot of technical support down at about that 148 level. This represents a 50 and 200 day moving average, as well as a key retracement. So long as we can maintain price action above that, we mark higher lows, potentially take us to higher highs. Uh, wrapping things up with the lean hogs. August lean hogs haven't been able to catch a bit at all. And I think we could potentially see a bounce in this market, but we're not going to be looking at August. We're going to be moving out to October. And the way we're looking at it is through call options. So if you want to discuss strategies in place, uh, give us a call. So that's what we're looking at to round up the week. That's what you should be looking at too. It's been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.